Hello students, uh, in this lesson we are going to start uh, uh, setting up the PowerPoint environment where we will see how to open a new file, how we can insert a new slide and we can change uh, these file names into according to the save and save as options. How we can type the text, alignment of the text and we will do different kind of formatting was, uh, text uh, with the size, with the style and different colors and we can also go for the bold, italic and underline options. And we will see in the later part that how we can find and replace the words in the file and how we can work with the different tabs and indents. So let's see with the PowerPoint interface first of all. And you can see here the file, home, insert, design, transitions, animations, slideshow, review, view, acrobat. So these are the different tabs that we are going to use in this, word, in this PowerPoint file. Uh, to the title bar, you can see the title of this file and here we have a quick launcher. This quick launcher will give you different options. The one by one we will see each of them. And here you have a slideshow. You have a save button here. And these are all quick launcher related to font, related to clipboard, paragraph, drawing. And here at the bottom you can see the different number of slides. And uh, you can also prepare some notes in the slide if you have extra information that you, which you want to read. Uh, and you want to give to the reader and also you can comment on the on the picture on the title of these slides and these are the different view that you can increase or decrease uh, accordingly and here you have a this pan where you can see the multiple slides uh, at the same time this is a reading review uh, here you can see the slideshow where you can also play from next back like this and this all we will see one by one when we will we'll be doing at least one or two slides of today lesson so let's check it out that how we are going to uh, see the slideshow of these uh, slide so let's take a part of that and we will continue So we will see how to save the file first because this is very important. So we are not going to lose our data. So for the first time when you are saving your file, you can directly save. Or if you want to change the location and title of your slide uh, of your document, then you can go to save as by changing the location and then title of the file. So first we are going to save our file. And uh, here we will save our file in such a folder. And here you can uh, save your files in the folder here. And here you have uh, module one. You can save the file. So now this file title, you can see it's uh, module one here. And one by one, we will go to each option to check it out how we can type the text. The first layout that is opened in front of you, which is a kind of a title bar layout. And in this layout, you can see only the title and also uh, the subtitle of the part. For example, if I'm going to give them the title of this, our uh, module one, and module one, uh, the title of module one is, for example, here, setting up a PowerPoint environment. So I'm writing here. Here like this. And for the next slide, when you can, you can also and press enter. We will see that how we are going to insert a new slide. So we just press enter and we got a new slide here. Before going to new slide, uh, you can check different formats. Like here from the new slide, you can see the title slides, title and content. The preview is much clearer to you and you can choose uh, which uh, option and which uh, um, slide you want for your text to present. And uh, this is this is one of the options that you can go for. And also you can uh, go for the layout and select any one of them. So for example, if I go to this option and now I'm going to select the contents of the lesson. So here you chose this uh, option to give the title and now I'm going to write the contents of the lesson here. 
for example i'm going to copy it from um, any of the other page and now i want to paste it them like this so you can just set a different formatting okay and here uh, we can see here this is now this is complete okay so if you want like uh, you know that how we can change the form uh, the bullets of this it will take you directly to this uh, option and you can go for this uh, point so you can see here that uh, we change uh, uh, the bullets of this and now we can easily align the text for example for this text i want to align so you can go to the this alignment or you can go to text direction to change the direction of these different styles according to your uh, preferences you can also the uh, align your text at the top middle you can see at the behind the slide behind this dialog box you can see the changes so it's the bottom so i will go for the middle and now you can go for the formatting text which is font size so for the title bar if i start from here i will go for the formatting for this so you can make it bold you have to click on the whole box you can go to the bold and uh, you can change the different writing style of it any anything that you want and other than that you can also change the color of it for example i will select this and i will go for a different color of it uh, other than that you can also go for because whenever you select the title of it you will go for format so format ribbon will automatically open from here you can uh, choose any shape of uh, style whichever uh, whatever you want for example i go for this and i want to make the shape of this outline must be uh, yellow or i want to give some effect these are the different effects so one by one you can see how it is going to i will go for the reflection tool and also i will go for some soft edges will give me up to 50 more points so you can see these are the different uh, shapes that you can put up the previous one is good for me so i will go for this now for this i will change the uh, indent alignment again i can go to um, the option here this one the the space is one or either you can go for the text direction here so i will go for this and for alignment text i can find this much more clear to me this one okay so this is a basic uh, thing that you can make some changes into your slide next is we have here font color is done italic bold italic and underline you can also change this is as a here from font ribbon from home and bold underline and italic whatever you want you can make some changes into that this is a text shadow and this text shadow you can easily change from here and you can change this uh, up to lowercase uppercase capitalization of each let uh, each of the word so i think this is good for me here and uh, you can make them tight normal uh, so loose see it says so much more with a huge spaces very loose and more spacing that's up to you but i think uh, this one is good for in, good enough for here and here again back to format when you will click on any of the uh, box of the slide you can it will take you to the format here so you can see here how you can shape the fill and you can shape the fill with any kind of um, option and if it, if it you can give them any outline and it will give you some soft edges with that like this and also with the text you can make some changes with the text see whatever the text you click on it for example the whole body if i want i can make it like this so these are the different word art style you can choose any of them to make some heading but for the heading it's look more good or apparently so i will choose any of them so it makes more presentable like this i can text fill i can text fill with any color which i want preferably i can make their outline so you can see here and the text effect if i can dig them so this is a very nice uh, feature uh, if you remember in this part when we go for the shape style we got the different options here and with the same we have in the word style which is shadow reflection and glow and it is coming here you can see in the shadow we can choose uh, the level of shadow that how we can make it outer or inner 
and according to this you can choose any color of it and according to this you can increase or decrease the transparency of these options so this was uh, the part of the font style font color that we use here and cut copy paste select all clear text so you can all uh, you can uh, see that how we can cut copy paste the slide for example if you want to copy this slide so you just right click on the slide you can copy it and again uh, here you when you click on it here you can paste it here so this slide is coming here if you want to to clear all the text so just click on this and then press del it will del means delete option delete you press on this box it will come again i'll again tell you exactly I just click on the box and press delete from the keyboard it will delete your all text here now you can retype again whatever the text you want here other than that we have here um find and replace option and uh, for example here you can go to the home ribbon and in the last you can find here and find what you have to find any word letter which is for example work working so working uh if i want to match the exactly case but i don't I, I don't bother about the match cases if it is uh, in uppercase or lowercase any case uh but just i need this word so i can find this word and it give me this highlighted word so you can see it is on the screen here now and if i want to replace this word with any other words i will go to replace so uh, i will write the word here working because i already selected this so it's coming here i will replace it working with uh, for example, labeling or like this, so it is labeling replace with, and uh, then I will replace all. If I want to replace all in all the slides, so it will automatically be replaced. You can see here. So this is labeling. So now you can see labeling with ta tabs and indents. So it is changed. This word is changed now. So next thing is that with tabs and indents, you can see here these are the different tabs that uh, one by one we will see in the upcoming lessons and uh, indents here that you can see here that how much uh, the indent of the space of the pages are there so you can increase or decrease of the slide you can also make the indent or alignment of the text and of the whole paragraph like this these are the different changes that you can make it uh, with this and you can also make some two columns into it like this so it's uh, it's just like a playing with the uh, powerpoint powerpoint and then you will learn more easily all the jobs so this was all about our today lesson mm -hmm.